Welcome to topic one of this social enterprise intensive. In this opening topic, we're actually focusing on some of the foundational ideas about social enterprise to begin with, and specifically, what the heck is social enterprise? Because like many things, everyone has an idea, and everyone thinks that their idea is absolutely the same as everyone else's. And that's because social enterprise is being driven as a movement, as an idea, by so many different external and internal forces as well. We've got government interest, we've got policy makers, we've got impact investors, we've got small charities, we've got Generation Z, XYZ, the millennials, the alphans, uh, and so on. So the idea of this first topic is to actually put some definitional markers in place. How do you actually recognize a social enterprise? And then beyond that, why would you bother? What's the business case for setting up a social enterprise? Because we hear examples and stories of social enterprises that are operating at a global scale, fixing poverty on a whole continental level. And then we also hear about social enterprises that are running on a local neighborhood level. But they're the same thing, that fall under this catch-all definition. So we'll define social enterprise, we'll look at how it's come to be of such interest, why so many people seem to keep talking about it, and also the different ways that it can start to manifest, the ways it can structure itself in addressing those issues, and the flexibility it has within it as well, to work from a really small local neighborhood level right up to a whole global movement.